Yo, what's up guys? Trading is one of the best ways to make Robux, but this year in 2023, trading on Roblox has seen some huge updates and some huge changes to it. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to trade on Roblox in 2023. We just got introduced a two day holding period on trading limited items, which definitely changes things a lot. And I personally think that now the best way to make profit through trading is by having a lot of different items. I think the more items you have, the more trades you can actually make. Before on Roblox, you could just have one item and trade it a bunch of times and make a ton of profit from it. But now you need a lot of different items to be able to make a lot of trades and make a lot of profit with it. So I definitely think that downgrading is a lot more valuable on Roblox trading in 2023. I still believe that trading is one of the best ways to make Robux. It might just take a little bit longer to make some. Because of this new trade hold, I think that the upgrading and downgrading method is probably now the best way to actually make Robux through trading. Like I said, having a lot of items is now pretty valuable because you'll be able to make even more trades. So I think that downgrading a ton is going to be the best way to actually make Robux through trading. But at the same time, if you are able to upgrade and get some pretty big items, I think those big items are probably going to start to go for even more. They're going to be a lot harder to get in the future and i think they're going to get even bigger overpays obviously with roblox not releasing a ton of items anymore those big items are just going to become more and more valuable over time so definitely try the upgrading and downgrading method it's pretty simple upgrading is just basically when you trade more items for less so for example if you trade four items for one that's an upgrade and a downgrade is when you trade less items for more so if you trade one item for four that's a downgrade it's very simple just do that process back and forth make an upgrade then make a downgrade then make an upgrade and keep going like that until you make a lot of robux i could be wrong but honestly i don't think that flipping projected items is going to be a great way to make profit in the future i think because a lot of people actually quit trading there's not going to be too many new people who don't know what projected are already and because you have to wait two days before you can make a trade, your projected items might actually lose a lot of value before you're able to get rid of them. So especially if you're new to trading, I would not recommend trying to flip projected items to make Robux. I don't really think that it's gonna be a great option for the future. It used to be probably the best way to actually make Robux, but nowadays I don't really think it's too great. When you're actually first starting trading on Roblox and you're picking an item to actually go ahead and buy, of course I would recommend going for a deal. Use RBLX Trade and you can find some items that are really cheap right now. So go to RBLX Trade's deals page and you can find a good deal here. But honestly, I would not recommend starting with anything less than like a thousand Robux. I think if you start with an item that's worth like 100 Robux, you're going to be stuck forever trying to get rid of it and trying to actually get an item that's worth a bit more. Remember, you have to wait two days before every trade, so you're going to want to start with a lot more than before. I recommend at least a thousand, but the more the better. There's tons of deals here for items around a thousand Robux, and these are the ones that I recommend you go for. You can get something like this, the Valentine's Day cap, which is selling for 700 Robux, even though the wrap is at 846. And if you're looking for people to actually trade with and ways to actually make trades, you could definitely try using different trade ads. As you can see on RBLX Trade, every couple minutes, there's people putting up trade ads, and this could be the best way to actually find people to trade with. So look through these trade ads, and maybe you find an item that you want to go for, or maybe somebody that's actually looking for the item that you have. Trade Hangout could be a decent way to make some trades, but the only problem is that there's a lot less people playing it now. There's only 100 people active in it right now, so it might actually be pretty difficult to make some trades here. Instead, try making some trade ads, try going on Discord pages, and that could be the best way to actually get some trades inbound or to send out some trades. RBLX Trade also has a messaging feature, so you could just message with people that you actually want to trade with and see if you can get a trade done. So when you're looking at trade ads and you find the items that you actually want, you can just press trade right here, or you can press message to message the people who actually own that item. Something that I definitely recommend when making trades is to be patient. I think because of the holding period, you should definitely try to make the best trade possible and be patient to actually find it rather than just accepting a trade where you win a little bit. Because winning a little bit on a trade could actually be bad for you since you actually can't trade those items for a while. 
Instead, be patient and try to win more on every single trade. And the other thing about making trades where you're only winning a little bit is that in those two days you have to wait, your items could actually drop and you could actually end up losing in the trade. So try to win as much as possible rather than just making those small trades. And of course, once you start to actually get bigger items, make sure you keep up to date with the value of the items that you actually have. Check this number always so you don't actually get finessed. Items can change in value pretty often and you always want to stay on top of the value of the items that you have or that you want to actually get. If you don't do that, you definitely could actually end up taking a pretty big L. Remember, Robux is still pretty valuable when trading because trading is still the only way to instantly get Robux. In this trade, I'd be earning 49 Robux and I currently have 386,789. So once I accept this, my Robux should go up by 49. And as you can see, my Robux actually went up. So when you're actually trading, Robux is a lot more valuable because trading is the only way to instantly get that Robux. To keep some Robux, it could be a great way to leverage some trades and make even more profit. I honestly don't think that good demand items are as valuable as they once were because you do have to wait so long in between every trade. Good demand isn't as necessary as it used to be. I think you could have bad demand items and still make a decent amount of trades. I wish everybody good luck who tries to start trading right now. I really do think that trading could be a great way to make Robux, even with all these new updates. So let me know in the comment section below how your trading journey actually goes on Roblox. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Peace.